Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a little bedroom refreshing video for spring. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I finally have the pieces to refresh our bed. I think you've seen it in past videos, but if you haven't seen my bed before, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and the inspiration for the whole color scheme because that's basically what's changing. The color scheme of our entire place was definitely more cool tones, but I am leaning more towards warm tones because I really like yellow and we did incorporate both blue and yellow to kind of mix and match because I don't like it when things are all one color. So for our bedroom, I got a bunch of new things to refresh the bed. We're not really going to be redoing nightstands and furniture because I kind of already did that with my desk and there are things that we just can't replace at the moment. So. so this is our bed and it's a queen size bed. So this duvet is from West Elm and it looks a bit more blue in person. I think there's actually a pen stain there. So when that happened a few months ago, I was like, okay, we gotta replace this thing eventually. But we will keep it for like a guest bedroom when we like get a house because I really do like it. So these are our pillows. Our headboard is actually an Ikea tabletop and that was our dining room table and it's just like a perfect size for a queen bed. And this pillow right here is the inspiration for our bedroom. Ever since I got this pillow, I really fell in love with the tan and the pink and especially the gold because we have gold curtains. And this is the color of our curtains. It's from Ikea, so they're really affordable. I believe they're about $20. He's here. Hi. <laughs> okay, so they know about the bedroom and they haven't seen the duvet yet. Mm. So here's a sneak peek of the duvet. And I thought it would be more pink, which I thought would scare him, but it's not. I actually like this color a lot. Yeah. Very, uh, you said it before to me, non-threatening. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cause I don't really like the pink, but I like peach. So this will be the duvet. It's a, uh, a, a natural peach. Mm -hmm. Got us a candle for the bedroom. <gasps> Because we have like no candles. Blushing amber. What, the, what does that mean? It was the only candle of that kind. Kind of goes with the vibe. I'm definitely getting on board with Target candles because they're the same price as like Bath and Body Works, but I don't have to wait for them to go on sale. Is that where our uh, sparkle candle came yes. from? It's a pretty our, cool candle. Our uh, big burning one that makes like a firecracker noise. Okay, so next thing I got is an actual pink Ooh. pillow. This is nice. I don't mind this with the, uh, we have a, another pillow. Yeah, I showed them it's the, kind of the uh, same material. The inspiration, Think like the texture. It. So I have to actually still spray this down with things. Mm. Oh, spray I it just, down with alcohol or you can wash it. I, I just know. put my hands, washed hands. It's okay. <laughs> Put it on the floor so we know. Then I got us some new pillows. Because mm. we are actually getting rid of things like chairs and old things that need to go. So I got us new pillows because pillows need to be replaced. Mm -hmm. And the ones that we have are flat. Yeah. And it's so sad. <laughs> yeah. My family never replaced pillows. So we grew up with a really, really flat and yeah. weirdly stained. Yeah, ours too. Pillows. You open it up and you're like, what is that? Why do we still have these? And we don't know if like it just gets like that or if it's from something. Because like, what are you spilling on pillows? I really don't know. Well, it was three boys living in the house, all under like 15, so. Yeah, so we got the firm down alternative. And it's these standard and queen ones. We got two of these. Mm. Oh gosh. Why did I bring the other one with me? <laughs> And here's the same pillow. Yes. <laughs> then, this is for the bathroom. I got us this. Oh my god, is it for toilet paper? No, it's Aww. for towels. They have one for toilet paper, but I didn't get it. And we could put two rolls of toilet paper. This is, oh, it is with Magnolia. Joanna. Yeah, Joanna, yes. You know, I know it's chicken. Now, <laughs> I've been known. <laughs> And then the last thing I got, I was gonna get this one on Amazon, but I wanted it now. Um, it was also on sale. We got the oh. Field Crest Down Comforter. It's warm, which is the least warm one. So 
feel quite fancy. And I always get super hot. Yeah, well, just I, my legs. Yeah. And I've actually never had a down comforter, so this is gonna be very interesting. We do have a queen bed, so it's going to be very large, but in the future, like if we're gonna buy, a, you know, things like this, mm -hmm. we just want to get the size that we eventually want to get. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why this duvet cover is also a king, obviously. You're supposed to wear the clothes you uh, want to... Dress for the job you want? Yeah, rewind that part. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so do you want to do the bed now? Oh wait, there's, one, there's one more thing, there's one more thing. Putting the bed sheets on. Oh, you're putting, I'm filming you putting them on. Okay. We got these. Mmm. Yeah. Organic. Also by Hearth and Hand. Because actually, I didn't know that the duvet did not come with shams. So, it just came with the duvet and I had to order the shams. The pillow just fell. I had to order the shams online and they won't be here until the end of July. We have 100 thread count. Because they're back ordered. So this uh, striped sham set, actual their pillowcase is not shams. Um, they have all the colors that we want and it's getting very sunny over here. Okay, mm. so let's do it. What's the color though? It's white. Oh. First thing we have to do is take this off. And I'm pretty excited to not have ties because they just look so messy. This is our bed heater blanket, our heated blanket. <laughs> I don't know if we're keeping this on because it's, yeah, I love it. just take it off. Okay, fine. I'll take it off. I'm not a fan of the heat. I don't even have it. But yeah. I feel like because it's... It it spreads. Because it's down, it's gonna be warmer maybe? Yeah. Good morning guys. So it's the next day and I'm here just finishing my coffee and I do have to get started on the rest of the room. As you can see, the bed is made and I'm not gonna show you like everything <laughs> until the room is done. I just wanted to go over some things that I think I have to do. It's quite sad, but I think that I have to Get rid of this bookshelf that's in the corner that's right next to my nightstand. This bookshelf I think is like 25 years old. Most of the stuff that's on the shelf isn't even Harry Potter stuff. Like I have things that... <laughs> I have things on the shelf that remind me of Harry Potter but they're not really Harry Potter. So I think that if I replace this shelf with something smaller, something white, it would look a lot better. I was really fortunate in our last place to have a two bedroom and the second bedroom was basically my room where I could keep all of my, you know, nerdy fandom stuff and display it and it wouldn't matter because the rest of the house would look pretty adult. I just think this is the best decision to make our home feel just more like homey and cohesive and I don't want to keep saying adult just more relaxing because there will be less clutter. So that's what I'm going to get started on. And then I have to clean up the rest of the room because yesterday I actually started sewing some things. I sewed my first face mask. It's a Star Wars one. I made it out of the fabric I used for my mouse ears. So it's so cute. And then these are actually seams from an old pair of leggings that um, I actually cut up like a long time ago for Michael to use as a mask. So yeah, it's so cute. This is the last look at the shelf all put together. So I've been listening to the Brene Brown podcast. I listened to the Enneagram one and now I'm listening to another one. I forget the title. I just made myself a little snack. I'm having some potato bread with cream cheese and everything we will seasoning, which is like so good. So the corner is all cleared out. I have all my fungal pops there because I don't know where I'm putting them. And I have like things scattered around. That is all books, Harry Potter stuff. I have a full box of books. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. And behind me, out in the hallway, I'm actually working on the closet because I need to take stuff out, reorganize it so I can put stuff in, like maybe that box that has books. I don't know. I'm gonna stop flailing this toast around because it's starting to cave in and I'll see you guys in a bit. This is our hallway closet. So it has towels, a bunch of craft stuff, and like tool type things. Like that toolbox has paint stuff. So yeah, I've just been trying to reconfigure, take out some old blankets, 
because we have a lot of blankets. I'm also drinking some of this. It's only 4% clementine and 4% peach, so it's like lightly flavored sparkling juice, but it's still pretty good. So Michael's home. He was at work this morning, which was quite sad. He came home later than we thought, um, but we're now actually trying to reconfigure the cat tree that we have because we want to see if we can make it like even better for the cats. So yeah, it's quite fun, but confusing because we don't know what to do. And there are many, many pieces. This one goes on top, but no one goes on it. So we shall see. Levi is like, what is happening? <laughs> we will Lego this plan. There we go. Everything is the same except this is now here. It was all the way up there, but yeah, we figured this could be a thing because he won't go in the hole because he's too large. <laughs> or as the directions say, fat. <laughs> hey guys, so it's Sunday and we're about to go to the dump to go to some things. We also are getting some things for, from my in-laws. So that's where we are now. And yeah, it's very exciting because I'm excited to go back home and see our place like more empty so we can move more things around and redecorate a little bit. Well, not really, just put things in different spots. So hopefully it'll look really, really nice. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hardworking man. I'm gonna try and figure out the hose. Maybe I should go out there and help. There's a little Bambi. We're just trying to make sure it crosses the road. Oh my god. Sweet, it's sweet baby. So we're back from our excursion and the house is a mess. So we have to clean still. I'm kind of tired. And thank goodness it wasn't that hot today because it would have been very difficult. I could not get my bookshelf, so I'm picking it up tomorrow from a different Target. And we're also going to be bringing this TV to a friend, um, so that'll be nice. And then we can finally get everything together and like redecorate the dining room because it's just in shambles, but at least there's no console table, which I'm very excited about. So I'll see you guys in a bit when things are like more organized because I just need to rest for a moment. Hey guys, it's been a few days since I last saw you. I had to take a break because of everything going on in the world and yeah, it was just a very heavy week and I'm sure it is for a lot of you and so I just wanted to wrap up this video and show you guys what I did with the bedroom. It still seems awkward that I'm filming but at the same time I don't want to stop doing my thing because <laughs> I enjoy it. So this is our door and we still have the robes back there because I didn't put them away and we like to wear them sometimes. Well, I do when the AC is on. So that's there for now. And to the left is Michael's dresser. We eventually want to get these replaced, but that is not a priority right now. So they work. On top of Michael's dresser, I keep my jewelry and this is from Muji. It has a bunch of stuff in there. I have bracelets and these are actually my wedding rings. I made this myself. I got the supplies from Michael's. Well, not the velvet and the cushion, but yeah, the little chest is from Michael's. And above that, we have a little gallery wall and my necklaces. These are all Harry Potter necklaces. Then we have our Alexa over there. And we don't call her Alexa. We call her by her other name, but I'm not going to say it. And then this is Michael's little section, his little nightstand and his stuff and we have a photo and my cubbies with fabric in it and then for decor we have the hats that you guys see in the background of my videos and i do want to rearrange them because it looks a bit weird with black on one side and the 
neutral tan colors on the other side, but it's fine. Above the bed is this art that I literally just made. It's probably still drying. I didn't get art for above the bed because I didn't know what I wanted and I didn't have time, so I just made that. I had the canvas forever, so I just went on Pinterest, found some inspiration, and then did a sunset of some sort, and I think it looks pretty good. And I think Michael will like it. And then here's our bed, I'm so happy. It just looks so different from before, the warm colors. I am a bit concerned about this fabric because it looks like the cats can get their claws into it very easily. As you can see right there, some little holes, but it's fine. Our pillows look really good with it and I'm really happy with the pillowcases that we got. And I'm really excited for the shams to come in because I think it'll look a lot better, but this looks really good for now. Also, oh. Also, Michael and I keep our leg pillows on the side of the bed. Michael's is under there. We actually kept an old pillow because Michael didn't want to throw it away because, yeah, we just couldn't. And when we like to sit up, we like to have all these pillows there, so we just kept it. This is my nightstand, that's my pillow down there that I use, and yeah, all of my stuff. To the left, I still have my cork board up, and I'm not sure I'm doing it this because it doesn't look that great, but I have nowhere else to put it right now. And I have the one piece of art that I wanted to put up above the bed, but I don't have anything to go with it. This is the map that you use when you go to Universal Studios with your interactive wand, and I just don't have anything to match. And Michael doesn't have one, so next time we go, we need to get another interactive wand so we can put both sides up. And that is that. <laughs> this is a small shelf that I got. It was 25 bucks from Target, and I love the way it looks. It's so clean, so now I understand why people like this shelf. And up top, I just have my Harry Potter Lego Yule Ball set and my chocolate frog. I just put my watch there because it was on the windowsill, but I like this spot a lot better. And my shelves are really just mostly Harry Potter stuff. I don't have anything that isn't Harry Potter. Down here I do have some strange stuff though, like a candle holder. And over here I have my plushies. This cat pillow I actually use when I like to lay down in bed like and watch TV, so it stays there. And that Tupa is from China. Well, his name is Tupa, and he's from China. I got it during Year of the Sheep. This is my laundry basket, and that is where it has lived for a while, and I have no other place for it, so it's staying there. Now I'm standing in front of the shelf, and this is the view we have from our bed. So there's my dresser with all my clothes, our electric fan. That over there is a pillow that we actually put on top of there because my cat Levi will go up and knock my necklaces over when he wants food, which is quite annoying. And then we have our huge TV, which I wish was mounted, but we haven't had the time to do that or the effort. And this is my desk. I still have my old chair. Um, it doesn't really match, but it's fine. This desk is by Opal House from Target and it has a nice bohemian look. I did a whole video like doing a makeover with this desk and it was in front of the window but it just doesn't work here because I want this to be all open. So it's in the corner for now and I have all my makeup there and my ring lights and I can easily move this desk now because it's on these little sliders. I do have my tripods under there. Um, just for now and above here we have some art that's actually my wedding bouquet it was in a vase but i decided to make it a they call it floral swag in animal crossing so that's what i'm calling it but dried flowers essentially and that is a little mirror and my potion making art that is from hot topic and these string lights are just sad. We don't use them too often, but I do like them. And honestly, the ring light isn't that appealing to look at, but I need it if my um, vanity is going to be in front of a wall because there's not enough light. And over here is our mirror. It's from Ikea. We had the big mirror in here, but I decided to switch it 
and put it out in the living room because we didn't need a big mirror in here. It didn't really make sense. And above the mirror, we have the clock. I actually had the lights strung up on the nail that was up there, but I put the little birdhouse and put the clock up there because it's out of the way and it looks really cute. So I like that. I quickly want to show you our main living space because it does look so much better. So we got rid of the console table, which was right there. And now we have the mirror and you can see me. And over here is a shelf that was where the cat tower is. But now I have all my workout stuff right there and the basket. And this is just slightly decorated, not really. And we have our plant and the cat's food is right there. And then this is now our little section if we got to put on our shoes and sit and that works out great still our tiny table we got our sorting hat love him and our couch and over to this side it's all empty except for this box that has a bunch of stuff that was in our console table with a box that has to go in the trash and yeah it's just so empty i love it so that's it for the tour and I'm really excited to have this duvet to film in front of because I'm in front of my window and it looks so beautiful and bright and warm and it goes a lot better with my skin tone and that is a big reason why I wanted to change up the color palette of this room because I'm warm toned. This time is very awkward, um, especially like for YouTubers because people are still going to work like i understand people have to feed their families and this is their job so um i do sympathize with people still uploading videos because that's their job and that's how they make money um but also spreading the word and talking to their fellow white folk about the situation so yeah <laughs> that is it that's all i'm going to talk about um i want to keep this a light video and i hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.